You want to see um, Met Gala party pictures, actually. These look quite cool. Um, the party pictures were taken by someone called Medi Lacoste, who I'm not too familiar with. Uh, he sounds like he might be from here, actually. Or am I, or am I being dumb? Does he sound like he's from here? I think he might be from here, to be honest. I'm not sure if he is, but if he is, congratulations. And if he isn't, whoever took them, sorry. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, there's these, uh, let me see if I can find them. Where are they? There's pictures here from the after party that look fucking awesome. So I think they'll film, um, or film camp. Well, you know, film images, 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 film images, images of film, 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 uh, pictures taken on a 35 millimeter camera, which is kind of all the rage now. I think a couple of guests I saw in a Met Gala, I'm not sure who it was, but a couple of people were given, looks like they were given disposable cameras to take pictures on. So I think that might be part of the whole promo rollout for this. I'm pretty sure. I wonder how how they get it all processed. Do they have like their own little processing booth that they get? They just give their roles to and they process them really quickly because they get the pictures up really fast, man. Literally happened the other day, and the next day they had the images already up and ready to go. Um, it might not be even a film camera; it might be something else digital. I don't know, but so far, I'm gonna say they film. And if they aren't, I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, let me get this up here. Make this full screen. Transform, fit to screen here, boom. All right, let's look at them. So number one, you've got Lady Gaga, right? You've got Lady Gaga in, I think this is outfit number four of the of her Met Gala looks as she was coming up the stairs, right? I think she changed twice before she even walked up the stairs, right? Absolute boss, love her. Um, Serena Williams, uh, I saw a really cruel meme about her actually. She said her outfit looked like scrambled eggs with bacon. Oh, <laughs> people on the internet are the worst. This guy here looks like Post Malone. His arm broken. That's commitment though, isn't it? One of the photographers came to the fucking Met Gala with his arm broken, man. No, 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 sh no shit. No, um, didn't give a fucking fuck. Um, I forgot that. That's Billy Porter, right? I'm sure. Billy Porter, that amazing gold outfit came in with, I don't know, six dozen men or so carrying him. And he's lying. Uh, Katy Perry dresses a chandelier. Pass on that one. She's so extra and annoying. Um, I don't know. Loads of people here. That's Maluma, right? I didn't know who that was. So this, this is the guy that supposed to be a lot of my um, Spanish colleagues and Spanish people that I know are super hot for this dude. Um, gay guys love him. Girls love him. He's just like a. He's just an overall snack for those people. And again, I saw his. I saw his outfit. He's suit, and I was like, shit, who the fuck is that dude? Right? He looked. I thought this guy's really handsome. Number one, and the outfit looked amazing. And then obviously, I found out that was Maluma. I remember saying to. <laughs> I remember saying to the missus when she showed me Maluma the first time, she was like, oh, this Maluma guy is really hot. All my friends love him. I was like, he's not, he's, he's not all that. You know that kind of automatic hating, that automatic boy hating comment. He's not all that. Who the fuck's that? I don't get the hype about Jude Law, man. Why do, guys like, why do girls like him? You know that kind of automatic boy hate thing? You can't help it. It just comes out of you, innit? So then I said that. And then I remember seeing that picture and then showing her. And she was like, oh, do you know who that is? I was like, no, the, 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 that's fucking Maluma, you idiot. I was like, oh. Sorry about that. Um, take that back then. Yeah, Maluma, man, you're doing all right, man. You don't need my, you don't need my, you don't need my stamp of approval. But in case you did, <laughs> this guy from Stratford thinks you look all right for a dude. <laughs> oh, but yeah, he looks amazing. I love his outfit. I loved how he how he styled himself. Uh, the hair, the beard. Yeah, he looked great. He looked awesome. Um, let's continue here. Who else do we have here? We have, of course, the Kardashian sisters looking wonderful. They all look great, don't they? Really. Um. Probably, you know, I'd, uh, I, I'm still going to say Kim is the standout. I think that look, that wet t-shirt look is just insane. The way they got made it, got that done. Their hair, the styling. You watch the video with like four people around her. Like, I don't know, four or six people like basically fitting this thing around, fitting this thing on her body, right? It, you talk about couture. This was couture, couture. Capital C couture. Literally, yeah, really, really great. They look. They always look really good, don't they? I don't think they've all in, ever had outfits. The Kardashian sisters wear... They go to like a you know celebrity function where they look horrible for the most part. Um, they just really they get the styling done really well, and I think maybe there's some codes in there about colors, about the amount of panels and patterns. It doesn't they don't they, they don't ever look fussy. They don't ever look like they they've got too much on. They don't ever look like they've got. They sometimes someone could argue they don't they don't look like they have enough on, but they look like you know just look just great. They're just styling to the. You know, to perfection. Now, of course, you know, that might be because it's their job and, you know, that's what they do for a profession. They have to get it right. But I think there is a real talent in looking good all the time consistently. It's really, really hard to do. Trust me, I've tried. 
um, <laughs> failed many, many times. And they really do a really good job of it, especially because, you know, there's so much on the line for these girls at these kind of shows because, you know, for, for all the good Kim has done over the years and for the amount of influence she's garnered over the years and respect she's gained and association with Kanye, the marriage, and then the fact that he kind of brought her in and really championed her being a really good husband in that case, you still get the feeling the fashion world just can't wait for an opportunity to kind of kick her out, looking for any excuse. So I think there's a lot on the line for her to get these outfits right because he knows if she gets it right wrong, if she fumbles the ball, if she doesn't really come with it at the show, they're going to destroy her. They're going to destroy her. So she has to kind of get it right. Um, so yeah, um, big kudos to these girls, man. They all look stunning. All look great. Love the outfits. Um... Kate Moss, you know, standard. She, she, she didn't really show out as much as um, maybe in previous years or in other times that you've seen her on the red carpet. But, you know, she has a whole fucking archive full of stunning looks, you know. She's allowed to have a, a kind of a chill day once. Uh, that's um, Ambush Guy, right? Um, verbal, right, from Ambush Jewelry. So I guess Yoon was there, but no one took her picture, which is a bit of a shame. I wish maybe she was somewhere else. Doing some else fun. Loads, loads of nice pictures here. Film camera pictures of like old guys taking pictures of things. Funny. Hamish Bowles here looking fucking incredible. I wonder what that is he's wearing. Is this Com? Do you think this is Com? Is this Com de Garçon? Might be Com de Garçon, you know. Or am I not? I think this is Com de Garçon home. I'm pretty sure. If it's not Com de Garçon, is it Sakai? Is it maybe Custom Haida Aikerman? Oh, uh, who's the millinery? That's a millinery guy behind him. I forgot his name. Oh, the one that makes hats. Fucking, what's his name? Stephen Jones? Stephen Jones? I think so. Um, but yeah, I think that's Hamish Bowles. Hamish Bowles, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Com. That hair reminds me of, there was a Com uh, collection where they kind of had their hair all swelly and kind of gelled onto the side. That's not exactly gelled, gelled, but it looks similar. But I don't know. That looked really nice. So I fucking love that robe. Uh, bathrobe kind of look. I'm, I'm all for the volume. I'm all for the fucking length and shit. So that wins in my book. Big fan of that one. Well done, Hamish. Um, yeah, there's Stephen Jones there. I'm not sure who the lady is covering her mouth, but she looks great. Uh, I'm not sure who that guy is in front either. I actually need to read that fucking um, essay that this is the theme is based on. I think it's called um, Camp in It, Notes on Fashion. Right? I need to actually read it. Oh, this looks awesome. Look from the back how great that looks. So awesome how they pinch it. Look, it's just... <sighs> The little droplets on the side. Jesus Christ. Just so good. His other part pictures are quite nice, actually. Ezra Miller here with that makeup with the eyes all over his face. Looks really cool, too. Michael B. Jordan. Uh, I said to somebody the other day that Michael B. Jordan is like, um, has that similar build to The Rock. And maybe he's unfortunate in the sense of the brands that he lands himself with. Because, you know, for all the love that I have for Virgil, no one would say he's like an expert tailor, right? You wouldn't necessarily say he's one, really, would you, right? So I think when he goes to these kind of runway shows and he's wearing, uh, he's trying to wear tailored suits. Because of his build, he probably needs a designer who's able to kind of make a suit that fits well, that kind of complements his body. That's maybe, you know, I don't know, the proportions on the arm are different because of his biceps and forearm i don't know however you cut a suit you might need it just to be essentially crafted on him uh 3d printed around his body actually a balenciaga suit would look pretty pretty good on him isn't it i think that balenciaga suit with the massive shoulders like really um really um again a custom one maybe really kind of coming on on this on the on the hips accentuate kind of his figure and stuff i think that might look really cool or maybe um what's his face would make a good suit for him. Uh, John Galliano. Might be a bit too camp for him. Maybe a bit too a bit too extravagant for Michael Jordan's taste. But I think he would look quite good in that sort of stuff. But again, I just think it's a bit difficult for him to look good in suits that are kind of off the rack, kind of looking wise. That's a, that's a problem that he probably has. But again, I think it's just the issue of being wham. When you're when you're when you're fucking muscular as fuck, you just some things you're just not gonna look good in. You just have to kind of chalk it up to the game, and it is what it is. Um, it's either that or you you know you try and do loads of coke and get super skinny, which probably isn't gonna happen. End up probably losing your family and your home and shit. Um, again, Katy Perry with the extraness. Not a fan. Get out of here. Jeremy Scott looked amazing though. I loved him. He starred quite a lot of people in this runway show, isn't it? For Met Gala. He, loads of people were wearing Moschino. Jamie Foxx uh, peeking into Cardi B's outfit. I was a good big fan of Tom Brown. Not sure who this lady is, but the Rose. Not sure who these ladies are. Oh, that's... um. I'm not sure. That's a plus-size model. I forgot her name. 
the back of Hailey Bieber and Kim Kardashian. Hailey Bieber with that long back, right? That that long back. They will do that really good arch, makes them look like they have a bum that pops up. But in real life, that's what it looks like. Ha ha ha. You know, people point at some stuff like that and say, oh, see, they're normal like us. No, they're not. She's still stunning, right? Don't take the piss out of her because she has a flat bum. Doesn't matter. She's still hot as fuck. Um, yeah, loads of great pictures. I think Medi Across smashed it here. These are really nice pictures. Really warm. I think he's he has a relationship with some of these people he's taking a picture with. You can see they like him to be there. He's taking pictures. People are smiling, having a good time. Jones is smiling. Got Harry Styles giving him a rose and shit. Really nice pictures from maybe Medi Across here. Solange looking great in her sunnexing outfit. Oof, looking stunning there. So I recommend you check it out. It's really nice. Um, I'll link it into the show notes. Loads of pictures here from the Met Gala. Let's skip ahead because, you know, this is getting a bit boring. If you weren't there, you weren't there, innit? Like I said yesterday, imagine standing outside waiting for people to come out for this Met Gala and wishing them a good party. Hope you have a good party. Hope you enjoy your time. It's like, thank you, I will. Fucking, ugh. It feels so awful. Why does it do that? Being a fan of celebrities must be like... Must be up there with like being a hype beast and being proud of it, right? I always say, I always thought being a hype beast and being proud of it is like the ultimate, you know, you know, you 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 always feel a little bit, you always kind of feel a bit cringe. You always kind of, you know, you know how uncool you are, but you just don't care. You just can't help buying the most expensive, most limited item and you know wearing it all at once and looking like an absolute dullard, right? You can't help it. It must be the same with these celebrity things, right? You just can't help getting involved in caring about what they do and who's marrying what and is she pregnant, is she not? Are they together? Are they not? It must be horrible, and having some that so much of that information in your head. I kind of, I kind of, um, I kind of find it similar to people that are like you know fanatical, polit- like people that are f- fanatical about politics, right? People that are watching news every single day, every minute of the day, right? They think the world's gonna burn down. They're always, you know, they're hoping Trump gets impeached. They're arguing about Brexit every day. Those kind of people in my, my life must be exhausting, right? You just got nothing else that occupies your mind apart from these things that are outside of your control. Whether it's celebrities, whether it's politics, you can't influence them one bit whatsoever unless you decide to be a politician, unless you become decide to be a celebrity. Or, but that's you know again not likely. But yeah, it must be frustrating to have that much inf- use information in your head. But what do I know? I have a lot of useless information in my head too, and I have used to stuff in my fucking hair. My hair looks so dirty right now, doesn't it? Ugh. Whatever. Continue.